Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured today I would just film like a quick little get ready with me. So I'm starting with my CYO Life Proof Foundation, my favorite. I totally forgot that someone had told me that the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Foundation, that's the name of it, is pretty much an exact dupe for this. Not only does the bottle look the same, but the ingredients are pretty much the same. So I think I'm gonna buy that foundation and do a comparison video, maybe use this on one side of my face and the Soap and Glory on the other, because I really, really love this foundation. And I will be so sad when I finish it all. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get a blurry background in my videos because I think that that would look really cool. I'm gonna watch some tutorials on that later. Also getting a microphone. It's one that I found on Amazon for like about 50 bucks and it just plugs into my phone and I could clip it to like my shirt just so the audio is like a little bit better because the iPhone audio is really not the greatest. Today I'm gonna mix these two concealers. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me and the Maybelline Age Rewind, just cause I don't want something super full coverage, but this one isn't really light enough. It has more of like an orangey undertone. This one is light enough. So we're just gonna mix the two. See the color difference? Even on camera you can see it. Also, hopefully soon after you guys are seeing this video, I'm gonna be filming with the back camera instead of the front. I know the back camera is so much better than the front, but I don't know, like my worst fear is like filming a video and what if it's like a video that like I really like and then I'm out of focus. So I'm gonna do a test run of that soon. I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder that underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna use my Milani Baked Bronzer. I really need to work on getting like a natural tan. I think I said that in my last makeup video. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Blush in Frisky Business. I love this color for like the summer. It's just such a peachy, warm blush. Before trying this blush out, I actually was more into like pink, like rosy pink blushes, like this one here. This is the Milani T Rose blush. See how pink this is compared to the other one? It looks too dark for me, but it's not. I'm actually gonna pop some on. I used to hate blush with a passion. And I said in my quarantine makeup routine, which I'll leave linked down below, but I said in that video that I hated blush, like in high school, I never wore it. And even after that, up until like a couple years ago, I never wore blush. And I was thinking about it, I was like, why is that? But I think it's because when I put on foundation, I'm trying to cover up redness. And then when you put blush on, you're just adding that back. But it's like, what I didn't understand was you're adding that back because like, that's what you look like naturally. It doesn't look natural for your face to be one shade. It just, that doesn't, it's not natural. I love Mountain Dew, anybody else? I'm not gonna do anything dramatic with my eyes. I'm just gonna use my Going Coconuts palette. If you guys saw my quarantine makeup routine, this basically today is gonna be the same thing because that's really my go-to look now. Like, I used to wear all these different looks, different eyeshadow colors and everything, but there's something about this makeup look. It's so simple, but it makes me feel so beautiful. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do today because feeling beautiful is always a good thing. I think I want to go in with my brow pomade today. I think I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows though, just a little bit with the ColourPop brow pencil. Like I said, all things will be in the description box of what I'm using. When I filmed the quarantine makeup routine, that was the first time I filmed a makeup tutorial in years and I was so nervous. I was so excited to be filming it, but I was so nervous. So I definitely feel better in front of the camera now. Like if that makes sense, like if you film YouTube videos or you make videos or whatever, like if you film YouTube videos also, 
let me know if like when you first started you were kind of like uncomfortable in front of the camera and now you know maybe I don't know a month or two later you don't feel that way I just feel for me that like YouTube is something that like it's a way to be creative and like I don't know I just I like it I'm getting my eyebrows done soon hopefully the next video the next makeup video I do may be with new eyebrows <laughs> not new eyebrows but hopefully better ones I'm just gonna take my pomade now and just kind of just kind of go over what I did with the pencil just to darken it up a little bit yeah, when I go get my eyebrows done, I'm going to get a wax and a tint, so I won't have to do my eyebrows as much. Now I'm like, do I want to use another eyeshadow palette? This one is so good too. It's the ColourPop Fame palette. This one is so pretty. What am I doing? Let me just show you. So, very neutral palettes, but very, very pretty. I just, oh my gosh, I am in love with this one. Like, if I could marry this, I would. I really would. But I don't know, do I want to go in with this? I actually didn't think I was going to have this much trouble trying to pick out a freaking eyeshadow palette to use today. I thought I knew what I wanted to do. I'm going to go in with the Fame palette. Taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and put that in my crease. It's a good transition color for me. How many of you guys leave your mouth open when you're doing your eyeshadow or your mascara? I know mascara, like, to leave your mouth open is really common, but I find that I do that with eyeshadows too. And, like, when I'm filming, I have to, like, be like, Sarah, close your mouth. It's not distracting. Then I'm just going to go in with this color over here. It's slightly more purple. I'm just going to pop that below the crease and onto the lid. I think I'm going to go in with this color for my lid. I'm just going to take that on my finger. I'm gonna apply it to the outer half of my lid and then see how we feel. This shade is so pretty. Should I just go for it? Should I just put it on my whole lid? I'm gonna go for it. I'm acting like I've never worn this eyeshadow palette before. Like, I know I like it, it's just wasn't the look I had originally planned, Ladle. She's always doing something crazy when I'm filming. I usually edit that part out. <laughs> That looks cute. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the No Budge Retractable Liner in the shade Coffee. And I'm just gonna line my upper lash line a little bit. I've said this in my past videos, but I cannot, for the life of me, be one of those girls who does this and lines it perfectly. I just, I cannot do that. I have tried, I, it doesn't work for me. I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. I love CoverGirl's mascara. They're probably my favorite. We're gonna go in with lips for now. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade, I always forget, Stay Exceptional. It's just a pinky shade. This shade is like a My Lips But Better shade, so it's perfect for natural makeup days. Not really natural, but you know what I mean. Just gonna go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I just feel like this look needs eyeliner. Why do I feel like that? Maybe just put a little bit on. I feel like this look is missing something. Just a, like, just on the outer, you'll see. Yay, I'm happy with that. I knew, I was just like, I don't wear eyeliner all the time, you guys. I really actually don't like it that much anymore. I feel like it just looks too dramatic, but today I feel like it really needed it. I'm gonna stop rambling. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.